Hi guys, are you planning to expand your network and need to add more IP devices? With the PoE Power Switch, now you can power and connect your IP devices using a only single Ethernet cable. And today, we'll show you how to install up to 7 IP devices using a PoE Power Switch with the combination of PoE++ standard and get a free design consultation for your technology system by simply sending us your questions through the link down in the description box below. And our team of experienced experts will provide you the valuable recommendation tailored to your specific needs. PoE stands for Power Over Ethernet. It allows both power and data to be transmitted over a single Ethernet cable, eliminating the need for a separate power unit, also providing convenient and efficient solution for powering network devices. But we also need PoE switch or injector in order to create a PoE system. A PoE switch combines the functionality of traditional network switch with the ability to power PoE-enabled devices such as IP camera and wireless access point, etc. By using the PoE switch, you can expand your network coverage, simplify installation, and streamline power management. Those benefits can make the PoE switch a valuable tool for expanding and enhancing your network infrastructure. The only thing is, it also requires to plug in an AC power outlet in order to work. So now, let's move on to the next scene and I'll introduce to you the PoE power switch. Now we're in front of the board and we are connecting an IP camera and a wireless access point using the PoE power switch and a PoE injector over here. Now, PoE power switch is a network switch that receives its power from the PoE source, like the PoE injector or PoE switch. And it can provide both data connectivity and electrical power to PoE enabled devices connected to its ports. It can also provide flexibility in device placement, enable centralized power management, and support scalability. Let's take it out to have a closer look. This 8-port PoE power switch can support PoE pass-through to draw power from an upstream PoE source while providing up to 71 watts total power budget to connected PoE devices. And each of the board can provide up to 30 watts of power maximum. We have 7 1000 megabit per second PoE port and a 1 gigabit PoE pass-through port. And also, it is compatible with IEEE 802.3 AF, AT, and BT standard. So over this side, we have a 90 watts PoE injector. It is a safe and reliable device enable users to create a PoE system with high power budget. It has one 1000 megabit per second input port and a 1000 megabit per second output port. Also compatible with IEEE AO 2.3 AF, AT, and PT standard to supply 90 watts high power to PoE++ devices. So speaking of PoE++, what does it mean? Actually, a standard PoE uses only two pairs of wires in a single Ethernet cable to deliver power, while PoE++ uses all four pairs to enable high power delivery and more efficient power transfer through the single Ethernet cable. So now you know what does it mean. Let's do the connection together. Let's use a short patch cord to connect our main network router with the NVR. And it's already connected to the monitor to display video after we connect it to the IP camera. Now use another short patch cord to connect our main network data with the PoE injector. This is the data in port. Let's connect it with the router. And for the PoE out port, we are going to connect the 100 meter ethernet cable. And it's already powered up here we have the 100 meter Ethernet Cat6 cable. And let's come over this side to the PoE power switch. We are going to power it up using a single Ethernet cable. We can see the indicated lights are getting on. Now it's getting power and data at the same time. So we're going to connect it with the wireless access point. 
Let's plug it in here. And also an IP camera. Here we go. It's getting indicated lights and the image will show up pretty soon. And it's getting both power and data already. Let's see, this is a live video. I'm moving my hands around. So the whole setup is done. As you can see, it does not require any AC power source at the edge, so you can reuse your existing Ethernet cable for the setup if needed. Most importantly, you can extend for another 100 meters. We have 100 meters here between the PoE injector and the PoE power switch, and you can extend for another 100 meter from our PoE power switch to your connected edge device, so you can have 200 meters in total now. And here are some more tips about the PoE system. Make sure you calculate your power budget, and it depends on the PoE switch or the PoE injector that you use, and also the power consumption of your connected devices. Second, you can replace our PoE injector with a PoE switch for more ports available, and also PoE switches can provide management feature if required. Last but not least, consider about the installation environment. We can also use the outdoor and waterproof type for outdoor harsh environment. And here's a video on how to expand network with the outdoor PoE power switch. And thank you so much for watching us today, and I will see you next time.